Okay, hello again, welcome back. Um, this is the this is actually this board is from an AST computer as well, but this is actually from an AST Premium 486D66 or 66D I should say uh, server. And um, so this board is pretty good for a 486. And um, it also has these brown slots. Woo! Fascinating. Now these brown slots are interesting. This is the only board I have that actually has these brown slots on. Now you're saying to yourself, you're shivering on the screen saying, I know what they are, they're not brown slots there. Well, I'll leave you for a minute and see if you can figure it out. Um, this is what's known as an ISA card. Okay, so industrial standard architecture. The ISA card will fit into these slots that are on the board. Okay, it'll fit into them nicely, no problems at all. But a bing, but a bum. Okay, so what are these slots? These slots are EISA, or enhanced ISA slots. Okay. While IBM was going around inventing the MCA bus, the rest of the competitors were inventing these babies here. Okay? Now these particular babies are what's known as EISA, or enhanced ISA slots. So you can plug in a standard ISA card, like so, boom, and it goes. And it touches the top contacts, which are the 16-bit contacts. Or you can plug in an EISA card, uh, which has further legs or longer feet which then plug in then further into the board and allow you to actually access the 32-bit uh, style of these boards. Um, it was a short-lived architecture. Uh, the architecture that is here was later superseded by the likes of VLB, which was put together by the Gang of Nine. And one of the Gang of Nine was actually AST Computer, which is quite interesting since they're also gone out of business. Uh, and later on then that was again superseded by PCI. And basically the standard of most machines would be ISA, PCI, AGP, and now PCI Express, because it's good to have a standard with computers. One of the comments that AST actually made during their tenure, um, because AST were a company that always innovate, and that's why they have this motherboard, daughterboard design, is they said that their competitor's greatest tool in their toolbox was a screwdriver. Very good say, I like it. Now, let's move on here again quickly. Um, you can probably see there on the chip, I'm just going to have to move this around. This chip that you see here is a Western Digital, again, built-in video card. At this date, Western Digital had purchased the Paradise Company. And they were then making their own video cards. Again, built-in memory on this board. And I think that this is actually one megabyte. It could be two, but I think it's just one megabyte built-in. Again, good idea. Integrate the video card into the computer and have a RAM on board for the video card. Later on, of course, the signs of, of onboard video would allow for, um, you know, the video to be shared with the onboard RAM. Okay? You're just seeing there in the view of the, the keyboard controller. Okay, various chips on the board. That's the system BIOS. Again, you'll notice with the system BIOS that the system BIOS is now contained in the one chip rather than four chips. As technology has improved, so has the size of chips. So we now have one chip rather than four. Okay? Also over here to the side, again, we have the, the hard drive controllers and the floppy drive controllers. This particular computer came with a, a, a SCSI card. These are serial ports and parallel ports. This particular computer, as I said, came with its uh, um, own SCSI adapter, which actually plugged into both the 32-bit top slots and the 32-bit rear slots. Okay, proprietary cards, great though. Okay, let's move around here to the back of the board. Just to show you the back there. And as you can see, you've got a mouse, a keyboard, and a video out. The mouse is a standard PS2, and the keyboard is a standard A2. A lot of the competitors were doing a PS2 style and a PS2 style keyboard and mouse. So they were doing both. Well, AST wasn't. Okay, now, now for the next piece. The next, uh, uh, there's another good look at those chips there for you. Um, I can't really do this with one hand, so I'll have to come back. I want to show you the daughter board belongs to this uh, particular board, so we'll leave it at this for this video. That's your 486. That's four minutes. I've been your host, and goodbye.